It's pretty awesome. You can do tons on this. You can even do, you can even use a camera if you want to. You have the power. As you can see, this is pretty cool. Let me just take a photo. So, took a photo. I'm gonna open up the photo and you can zoom in on the photo and it's gonna be zooming in on the TV. So let me just zoom in on the Batmobile. There you go. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, right? iPhone 17 Pro and 17 Pro Max. Pretty awesome, right? Just got mine, it's blue, it's not orange, I know that. But today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can screen mirror your iPhone 17 Pro or 17 Pro Max, it doesn't matter, to your TV. Completely free, it's wireless, you just saw it. And the best part is that you don't have to download anything on your iPhone. Everything is built into it. So let's just dive right into it. All right, on your iPhone 17 Pro or 17 Pro Max, the first thing you need to do is to make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. I mean, I say that a lot, actually. So you have to make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. As you can see, mine is connected right there. And that is my home Wi-Fi. But let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you can go back and you can actually enable the personal hotspot right below the mobile services as you can see right there. You can actually enable personal hotspot, but I would not recommend it. Wi-Fi is free, it's, you don't have to worry about mobile data or data plans or anything like that. All right, you have connected your iPhone to your home Wi-Fi, superb. Next up, what you need to do is to make sure you have screen mirroring inside your control center. As you can see, I have right there, actually even I cannot see it, but yeah, it's right there. It's at the bottom, as you can see right there. Now, if you don't see the screen mirroring icon, you don't have to worry about it, all you have to do is just Tap and hold, click add a control. Once you're at a control, you can actually just search the screen mirroring. So let me just search screen mirroring, there you go. Once you type in a screen mirroring, there you go, you have the screen mirroring option, just tap on it, and you can actually make it bigger if you want to. I mean, yeah, that's what she said, right? <laughs> but once you get the screen mirroring option, that is pretty much all you have to do on your iPhone. You don't have to download any third-party apps or anything like that. Well, let's jump to the TV and let's do this. All right, to screen mirror your iPhone 17 Pro, we have to make sure the TV is also onto the exact same Wi-Fi connection that we're using onto the iPhone, okay? Go to the settings page. Now, this might look different, but don't worry about it. Pretty much all the same. And if you need any help, just comment down below. I'll definitely, definitely get back to you. Next up, what you wanna do is to go into the general settings. And inside the general setting, you should be able to find something called network settings. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And next up, now inside the network setting, you would find something called network status. If you have done this before, if you have connected your TV to your home Wi-Fi before, you can just click on that and it will automatically connect it to your Wi-Fi. But if you have never done this like me, I mean, I have done it, but for the sake of this tutorial, just go to the open network settings. Uh, in this case, as you can see, you will give you two different options. You have wired and wireless. I would recommend wireless, pretty simple. You don't have to use cables or anything like that. Next up, inside the wireless connection, you should be able to find your home Wi-Fi and your ho mobile hotspot. If you wanna use hotspot right from your iPhone. However, I would not recommend it, just use your home Wi-Fi. Again, don't worry about it. If you don't have Wi-Fi option on your TV, I will be uploading a latest tutorial on how you can screen mirror your iPhone to your TV or any TV that doesn't have Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, and you don't have to turn on Wi-Fi on your iPhone as well. It's, it's gonna be that cool. Next up, what you need to do is select your network, click OK, enter your, enter your Wi-Fi password, and there you go, successful, it's connected. Now, I did not enter my Wi-Fi password because I've done this before, so yeah. Next up, what you need to do is to, we're still onto the settings page, okay? Inside the general settings, if you scroll down just a tiny bit, you should be able to find something called Apple AirPlay settings. Now, this step is not necessary. You don't have to enable it manually, but some TVs require that, okay? As you can see, I am I have the option, so just tap on it. Once you tap on it, we'll just give a couple seconds, and this should be the screen on your TV. Pretty simple, right? At this moment, as you can see, you don't have to change anything on your TV. What you wanna do is to take your iPhone out. Let me just do that. Okay, so on your iPhone, as you can see, I have my iPhone out. You wanna do is to scroll down. Once you scroll down and you should be able to see the screen ring we just added before, so just tap on it. Once you tap on it, you should, be, you should be able to see your TV that is running in the background. Now, this is only happening because the iPhone and the TV are both on exact same Wi-Fi connection, okay? Next up, what you wanna do is just tap on your TV and there you go, it's, it's gonna, and there you go, it's asking for AirPlay code and you should be see, and you should be able to see the AirPlay code on your TV. As you can see, it's 4718, so let me just input that. Let me just put that 4718. 
And once you click OK, and they just gave a couple of seconds, and there you go. We're connected. <laughs> pretty, um, wait, wait, <laughs> pretty cool, right? Now, this works wirelessly, and this works without having to download anything on your iPhone. Okay, let me show you something interesting. As you can see, I'm on, I'm, on lock, I'm on my lock screen, and it's showing the lock screen. So if I unlock it, it's gonna work on the lock screen as well. So I'm just turn down just a tiny bit. There you go. It's pretty awesome. You can do tons on this. You can even do, you can even use a camera if you want to. You have the power. As you can see, this is pretty cool. Let me just take a photo. So, took a photo. I'm gonna open up the photo and you can zoom in on the photo and it's gonna be zooming in on the TV. So let me just zoom in on the Batmobile. There you go. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, right? Well, I mean, it's, it's completely free and there's no lag and there's no limit to it. You can use this however long you want. You can do it. You can use this all day if you want to, but it's pretty cool. You can play games if you want to. So let me just see if I have any games. I do have Clash of Clans though. I mean, I don't have, I don't have installed the account on it, but also that reminds me, yeah, there's no account on it. <laughs> also that reminds me the audio will be coming from the TV, which is the coolest part. So if you want to listen to music or anything you like, the audio will be coming from the TV, which is pretty cool. Let me show you how you can stop the screen running. Now, if you do have iPhone 17 Pro or 17 Pro Max, you can just click on the dynamic island or just tap and hold and you have the screen mirroring stop option, stop screen mirroring. Or if you don't want to do that, or if you don't want to do that, you can just top, go to the control center, go to the screen mirroring tab, and you can see there is a stop option. So if I tap on it, it's going to automatically stop it for me. There you go. Pretty simple, right? Now, if you want to do this again, you don't have to open anything or AirPlay or anything on your TV. All you have to do is go to the screen mirroring tab on your control center, just tap on your TV, and there you go. Couple seconds and we're connected. Pretty cool, right? Well, let me know in the comment section below if this was helpful for you. I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Okay, that's it for the video. I really appreciate you watching till the end. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll definitely get back to you. Also, if you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.